go back to the tutorial. Okay guys, welcome back. So in this section, we're gonna do the About Us page. Now we're also gonna do other things, like we're going to uh, do the transparent menu. I'm also gonna show you where you can get a logo. So I'm also gonna go a little bit more on the menu section on how to edit that and get this transparency or however you want it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and talk about all this stuff right here and as well as these shape dividers and how I got these number counters right here. And again, going down right here, I'm gonna talk about how I made this grid image right here with Meet the Team and of course this testimonial section. So you guys are already like you guys are already probably you know familiar with the page builder. You guys are learning. So I'm going to actually go a little bit faster in this section because I want to sort of force your brain to understand like how we got these. Now by looking at these, you guys can understand text header underline text button. And now this is a two column row. Okay. So let's go ahead now and go through this. Now I hope you guys remember the settings. So if you guys don't remember the settings that you need, I'm gonna go to this page right here. Now again for the main section. You're going to have a 100% full width. So let's go ahead and do that right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, show you guys again. And you guys are gonna have to do this for every page that you create. So again, right here, content layouts, 100% full width. And then right here, we disable the margin. And then for the header section right here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys again. We disabled it right here and we enabled it and we have our menu right here. So disable, default, and then menu. So right here, disable, default, and then menu one. And then right here, we have our title, which we're gonna go ahead and disable because we don't want that uh, other section right there, you know, on, you know, like right across your page. It doesn't look good, you know, it's not really needed. We don't, we can make our own. And then of course, that's about it. So once you're done with that, you can click on update or publish or whatever you're gonna do. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go to view page now. And you guys can see, basically it's a empty page now. So you can see all that stuff in the middle was gone. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna click on edit with Elementor. And now we're gonna go ahead and design uh, this section right here. So this part right here. And then I'm gonna talk about the menu and the logo, and then uh, we'll move on to the blog section. So let's go ahead and get started. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and take this right here and slap it in. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the middle. I'm gonna do about us. Now guys, remember, I'm gonna go a little bit faster here because I want you to understand how I did this. And I don't wanna have to you know, uh, give you time to sort of like, oh, how do we do that? I kinda want to uh, push you a little bit to make sure that you kind of understand uh, how I got all this, okay? So right here, I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna stretch the menu. I'll make it full width. And right here, I can add a background to it. So right here under the edit section, I'm gonna go to style and I'm gonna go to background and go to classic. And I'm just gonna simply go ahead and put in an image right there. So I'll put in something like this. And then remember how we got that before? We did the style and we did the cover. Now you guys can also do the parallax effect by doing the fix section, which will make it a parallax if you want but um, just for this section, I'm not gonna do that. And I wanna add padding. So right here, I'm gonna click on this module inside, click on this, and then I'm gonna go to the uh, the advanced section and go to maybe like 50-50, something like that, or however you want it, we can do like 100. However big you want your section right here. And then right here, of course, we wanna go ahead and change this uh, heading right here. It's, it's too small, you know, <laughs> it's way too small. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this white, and then right here, I'm gonna do something like uh, open sans. We've been doing open sans for a while. And then of course, I'm gonna go ahead and put something like a size, a little bit bigger. And then, you know, a good idea is to space that out. You know, spacing out the header right there is always a good uh, strategy because it just looks clean. It looks really, really good. And then I'll do uppercase. So that's a pretty cool one right there. You know, that's a pretty good like about or like right there. It's, it's pretty simple, it's pretty self-explanatory, okay? So let's go ahead and move on to the next section. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and do add a new section. Now by looking at this guys, again, I want you to understand two column row, we added these bars, text, text, underline, text, button, okay? So let's go ahead and do that really quick. So right here, I'm gonna put in these two right here, and I'm gonna click on this. So we had text, and then what, over here we had header, and then we had another text, and then we had, no, I'm sorry, we had the underline. So right here we had the underline section. So we had the underline, and then we also had the button right here the button so we put it right there and of course guys it looks it looks very weird I bet you're thinking like how does this look like that you know it's, it's so much different guys all it really is is just spacing and content and, and font and color you know that's that's really all it is you know it, it just looks like it's a lot but it's really not so right here I'm gonna go ahead and say you know what um, I want to go ahead and give the space padding right here or margin you know it's it's too it's too close to the top so I'll do something like uh, I'll do something like 10 or, or, or 30 you know and then right here we put something like um, 
you know, we put like something like we are amazing or something. So right here, we we are amazing. And then right here, put something like um, our services or whatever you want to put. And then I want to go ahead and style that. Maybe I'll change this to black. Okay. And then family, we'll do open sans. And then weight, we'll do 300. Okay. And then this section right here, I want to go ahead and reduce that gap. Something like this, you know, make it look, make it look stylish, you know, make it look creative. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger too. This is a little too small for me. Okay. And then right here, you can put something like our services or something like that. And then right here, uh, you can go ahead and just say like, you know, I want to go ahead and add a black button right here. And also I'll talk more about like pre-made layouts and everything else a little bit later and templates, how you can basically get this to save and it'll be really easy. Now this row right here, I want to go ahead and click on this. Now I want to stretch this section and I want this full width and I don't want any gaps because we're going to add a picture right here, right? So I don't want to go ahead and add any gaps to that section. And then over here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in just a regular module, anything. I'm going to go ahead and, and get rid of all this. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a background to this. So style, background, classic, image, and then voila. We'll go ahead and add in this one right here. And again, guys, remember, you need to put a cover. Okay? So now it's covered like that. And we can always make all this stuff bigger by doing the, um, you know, we can click on this right here. And we'll go ahead and say, you know what, we need some more... We need some more padding or something like that on the top or you know wherever. So over right here, we can do something like that. But uh, I don't want to. I don't want to achieve that look. So we're probably going to end up using this module right here, and this one right here. We can do something like padding. So or we can do margin. I'm sorry. So we'll do margin. Do like a 100. And there you go. So now we have that section coming out a little bit better, right? So if you want to add more to it, you can go ahead and you know put more margin to it, or you can you know uh, customize it however you want. You can give this section more top, you know, for example, we'll do like 200, it'll make it even bigger. So, you know, it just depends on how you want it. We actually covered this before in the, in the pre other section, or I'm sorry, in the, um, in the split screen effect. So I'm not gonna go too much in this. There's different ways you can, you can edit it and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like that. Okay. Now, of course, this doesn't look as good as this because this text is a little bit bigger. And I think right here, we actually align this stuff to the center right here. So this section right here, you know, we could actually align everything in the center and make it look a little bit more like the, the demo right there. Or you can actually even put it to the right side. You know, maybe even to the right side, it would probably look a little bit better. But it really depends on how you want to build your website. You know, you can have actually everything on this side, but I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like that for now, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next section, which is this section right here. Now this section right here, guys, is basically the same exact thing. It's the same exact thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just say, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just copy this whole row. You know, I don't want to do all that hard work again. You know, why should we? Because, you know, we don't need to do all that all over again. And I'll introduce the bar counters as well. So this section right here, click on this. Oh, no, we can actually click on this right here and just duplicate this whole row. Okay. And then, of course, we can go ahead and, uh, we can go, you know, we can go ahead and, you know, take this section and maybe swap everything around. Let's, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and swap it over here. And there you go. Okay. And then right here, I'm going to go ahead and say, you know, I want a module here. You know, I want to go ahead and click on this, delete this. And I also want to go ahead and delete the background. Now, I deleted that on accident. So to get that back, all you need to do right here is just, you know, duplicate a column. And then there you go. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, trash all this now. And then I'm just going to go ahead and simply put the bar counter module in right there. So there's a lot of different ways you guys can, you know, like I made the mistake of there of doing that. But, um, you know, it's... Any which way it works, you know, you can you can delete everything or you can just, you know, put it out a new row. There, there's so many different ways. So I'm gonna look for the bar counters right here. We have the progress bar. Now I'm gonna go ahead and say, you know what? I don't wanna have to keep dragging that in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate it like that. Maybe something like this right here. Okay, and just like the other modules, so right here we have my skill. You can put something like our, or, or like SEO and then give it a percent. And then, you know, do like our success rates. And then for the style, or we can change the type right here. Now the type is just like a pre-made color, so it's not really necessary. But if you choose to have it, you can, you know, do that. Now for the style again, I'm going to go ahead and say, you know, I want this black. The background color, I want it, uh, you know, that, bl that blue that we have going on. The inline text, I'll leave it as white. And the title, which is this section right here, we can change that to something like black. And then, you know, you can change it to open sans as well. Now, a good idea if you guys are doing that is 
instead of actually you know making all these like from scratch again you can just go ahead and maybe delete these and then just go ahead and just duplicate the one that you've already done you know instead of actually having to do all the hard work again so i'm gonna say you know what i'm gonna go ahead and just duplicate these ones right here and then from here you can just go ahead and you know you know you've already got the font and the color and everything so just change the title you know to whatever you guys would want so that is basically this section right here now let's go ahead and go to the next section Oh, also the number counters. So let's go ahead and add in some number counters as well. So right here, I want to add in some number counters. So I'm going to go ahead and actually click on this right here and bring in the column section right here and just drag it right below that. And right here, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to go ahead and find the number counters. The number counters, where are you guys? We have the testimonials, accordion tabs. So guys, there's a lot of other modules, you know, so uh, feel free once you guys get a little bit more, you know, comfortable with the page to sort of go through all of those. But uh, the counters are right here. And again, so right here we have starting number. So you guys can like make it start at a certain number. You know, you can make it start at, like a number like, you know, 50 and then make it go to number 100 if you'd like. You have a number of prefix, um, also the number of suffix as well. And you guys can do also the time. So if you do 4,000 MS, that's basically uh, four seconds. Okay, so remember uh, it's an MS time. So you want to basically put it for MS time, okay? And you can do like the thousand separator, which is like the um, the comma for thousands. But right here, I'll do like cups of coffee. And then for the style, I'll do something like uh, black. And of course, we can change this to something like open sans. And then again, we can go ahead and just duplicate this row instead of uh, making like you know five or six, five or six uh, you know rows. We'll just you know there you go, bam, done. And then, of course, you guys can, you know, uh, change anything else. And, of course, you guys can see it looks pretty good. So, uh, also, you might want to add, like, a different shade to this background, you know. Uh, adding the shade will really help. So, uh, right here, under the styles, we have the gradient effect. So, right here, I can click on, like, a color. Maybe add, like, a color to this. I think I did, like, a white, and I basically added a dark blue. So, let me show you. I'm sorry, a light blue. So, let me show you how I did that. So I kind of like made it like go from white, just kind of fade in from there. And all I did was basically just, you know, reduce the location and the angle right here. So let's see right here. You can also reduce the angle. So let me do 150. So let's see how I can get this right here. I should probably do, I switch these around. I should do from light blue to white. Okay. And then from there, we can do like our location. We can do like an angle. Let's see how I can make this work. There we go. There you go. So now you guys can see that I basically made the page kind of, it kind of like uh, soaks into the blue. You see that? And you know, you can always increase the location to make it go up or down. So that's how I basically achieved that effect of this uh, color right here, kind of like, you know, right here, like kind of like fading in and then fading out. Okay. So it, it's just, you know, kind of like messing around with it. It's messing around with the settings. You guys will get it. You know, I'm sure you guys will get all that stuff. I'm sure you guys are pretty, pretty affluent with it. So right here, I'm gonna to go to add a new section. I'm gonna click on this, and I'm gonna go ahead and add in a header text. So right here, I'll put in something like, um, no experience needed. I'll center this right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and add some padding to this, oops. So under the advanced section right here, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some padding. So maybe like, uh, uh, we can add in like, well, we can add some margin actually. I think the margin's better, we'll add in like 100. And then of course, we'll just go ahead and add a background to this. So uh, clicking on this section right here, the blue section, I'm gonna stretch this section, go to full width, style. And remember guys, you can have video backgrounds, you can have gradients, you can have the classic, but I'm just gonna go ahead and add an image right here and just insert the parallax effect. So again, remember to get the whole picture up there, we're gonna have to go to um, our, uh, our size and go to cover. And then again, if you want the parallax effect, you can go to fixed and voila, we have that beautiful parallax effect right there on our website. All right, so here I'm gonna change this to something like, uh, we'll do white, you know, we'll do white, white's good. And then we'll increase the size. We, what do we got, open sans? Is that we're doing open sans? You know, I, I recommend guys open sans or Roboto or Lado. Those are all really good ones. No experience necessary. And I'm gonna go ahead and insert a divider right here. It's a little too far. You know why it's doing that? It's because we added too much margin on the bottom, okay? So right here, we'll go to advanced, take this out, and go to zero. So I don't want any space. If you guys don't notice on all my tutorials, guys, I am never scripted. <laughs> you know, I, I am not like one of those guys who, 
like rehearse and everything. I just know how it works and I just basically just show it from scratch. You know, I, I know what to do. So I'm, I'm not on a, I'm not on a, you know, I would never do that. I, I'm never like on a script or anything like that. Those people are crazy. So right there, you guys can see we have this section that appears right there. Looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and add in a counter right here. So I'll go over ahead and click on this. So we have four counters. So you guys know how to do that. We're gonna go ahead and grab these column widgets right here and just drag them underneath. And then we can go ahead and duplicate this row like that to have four, okay? And then I'm just gonna simply click on this and drag in these number counters like that, okay? Or I can duplicate this row, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just drag them. Yeah, I wanna drag them, you know, I wanna, I wanna change it up. I'm tired of doing everything the same way, you know? So number counters, okay, number counters, okay. And how did I get that effect right there? How did I get this effect? Do any of you know how I got this? I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, 